In today's video we're going to take a look at how you would add a smoky flavour to your food using wood chunks or chips. Hi everyone, this is James from Barbecue.com and welcome back to yet another episode of Barbecue Know How. And today's video we're going to take a look at how you would add that nice smoky flavour to your food whether you're cooking on a charcoal barbecue or a gas barbecue and you would do that using wood chunks or chips. So we'll talk a little bit about the differences between the two later on but for now we just want to take a look at the wood flavours and why you might want to add smoke to your food. So smoke can be used as a, a separate ingredient uh, it's one that most people would forget about um, it's not listed in most recipes um, different woods give different flavours to food so the milder woods would be the likes of fruit woods so apple or cherry um, would be two of my sort of favourites you can go anything up then to the really strong flavours such as oak or hickory depending on how you use them they can also give a different flavour so um, I think some people think they don't like smoked food but I would argue that they have probably just tasted the wrong kind of smoke on their food or they have over smoked their food uh, and it's really overpowering and uh, even myself I like smoky food but I don't like it overly uh, smoky so choosing the right kind of wood to go with uh, the recipe you're cooking or the piece of meat you're cooking uh, can make a big difference to it and I would, couldn't stress enough don't over smoke your food uh, you only want to be subtle with it it should only be a flavour that sort of comes through um, after the main flavours of the dish have come through so um, it'll take a little bit of practice but I would recommend probably starting off with the lighter woods so again I mentioned apple um, cherry you can also go the likes of silver birch isn't too overpowering another one of my favourites and build your way up to it if you find that's not strong enough you can either add a little bit more of that wood to it or blend it with something slightly stronger so you can add the likes of cherry it gives you a really nice colour in your meat it's a nice sweet wood uh, maybe add in some oak or hickory to that just if you want that slightly stronger flavour so we mentioned that you would use either wood chunks or chips to do it um, depending on what barbecue you're using will depend on which of these you would use so we'll start off first we'll take a look at the wood chunks so wood chunks are essentially exactly what they say on the tin they are just a chunk of wood um, there are only certain uh, woods you would use generally hardwoods are acceptable you wouldn't use anything from a carnivorous tree um, so any like, fir trees or things like that there there's too much sap in them they don't tend to dry out enough hardwoods are what you would generally use and you want them to be nice and seasoned just to make sure all that sap has dried out of them um, these are silver birch chunks and these are cherry chunks so these would typically be used on a charcoal barbecue so you would just add them straight on top of the coals uh, there's no need to soak them beforehand you put them on dry and with your lid down in the barbecue they will smolder away and uh, give off a nice smoke uh, if the chunks are wet you will get a dirty smoke so it'll be a really sort of white bellowy smoke they tend to give off so make sure you keep them in a dry place whenever you do buy them um, typically these will give off around half an hour's worth of smoke depending on the chunk size obviously but something like this should give off a good 30 minutes of smoke um, that tends to be enough your food will not take on any more smoke after the, the surface of it has seeded so if you're doing a low and slow you might extend that window a little bit but typically if you're cooking something after half an hour that sort of the outer surface of the meat has sealed and it won't take on any more smoke um, so one chunk tends to be enough uh, there's no need to add any extra and if you're blending flavors you can add one of each but there is no need to throw four or five of these onto the fire because really you're just wasting them and you will over smoke your food so I move those over then for wood chips um, these are beech wood chips I have here um, you can use these on a charcoal or a gas barbecue so a lot of people think you maybe can't smoke anything on your gas barbecue um, because there's no flame there to set any of the wood onto but that's not the case and we'll show you a little trick for that after if you're using these because they're such small pieces of wood you would tend to soak them beforehand so what that means is 
you would take a handful or two and add them into a bowl or some kind of container and then just add some water to them and if you leave those for about 20 minutes or so it's enough to wet the, the chips through so you would typically soak the chips for 15 to 20 minutes uh, before adding them to the, the barbecue the reason for it is that these are such small pieces of wood if you were to put them on dry onto a charcoal barbecue they would burn up instantly so this will give you uh, that little bit of extended sort of smoke time and typically you can get around 15 minutes of smoke uh, out of a handful of wood chips so if you're preparing to light your barbecue before you put it on uh, get your wood chips soaking so they're ready to go as soon as you put your foot on uh, there's a small window there they only go for 15 minutes so you want to add these the second before you put your foot on uh, if you wait for five minutes you're just wasting time and your food's already starting to seal so why would you go for chips over chunks well if you're only wanting to add if you're cooking a small uh, piece of meat that's going to seal quickly um, you can use chips then to add a quick smoky flavor to it and again there's no sense in having half an hour's worth of smoke on something that maybe only takes 15 20 minutes to cook so wood chips are good for that um, you don't need an awful lot of them just one handful onto the coals will give you a nice uh, smoky flavor so on a gas barbecue uh, wood chips is traditionally what you would use now you can't just throw these obviously onto one of the burners and expect them to do anything they'll just fall through the barbecue so what you would generally use is a, a smoker box that would hold these and that would sit over the top of one of the uh, lit burners that would heat up the chips and start producing smoke uh, if you don't have a smoker box or you just want to try it out without actually investing in one first you can make a little smoke bomb smoke parcel thing so um hold on a wee thing sorry i forgot this um so what you would do after these have been soaking for 15 20 minutes a uh, piece of tin foil grab a handful of these shake off the excess and Add them into a piece of tin foil. Then hold the tin foil over and seal it on all sides. Try and get it nice and flat. Do your best not to punch too many holes in it. So you have a nice little flat parcel like this, uh, which has your smoker chips inside it. Then what you want to do to let the smoke out is just pierce a few holes in the top of it. Like so. Then all you have to do is set that on top of your uh, flavorizer bar over a burner that's lit. Um, these won't start smoking straight away. So what you need to be prepared for is Whenever you're preheating your barbecue, it's best to get these on and heating up along with it. So if you're lighting your barbecue 15 minutes before you start cooking, add these to it because they can generally take 10 or 15 minutes to get going. Uh, as soon as you see the smoke starting to uh, come out of your gas barbecue, then uh, you want to get your foot onto it quick because these won't burn for long. As I say you want to get 10, 15 minutes out of them. but it's a great way to try it for the first time uh, if you've never done it before if you just want to see if it's the kind of thing you like before investing in a smoker box uh, the little smoke bomb is a great idea so i highly recommend giving smoking a go it's a great way to add another dimension of flavor to your food um, try out different woods and see which one you like best decide whether you like um, a light smoke flavor or a nice heavy smoke flavor uh, find a balance in between them um, the other thing to remember is that the word smoking has kind of become synonymous with uh, low and slow and they're two separate things. Um, you can add uh, smoke flavor to anything that you're grilling or roasting. Uh, it's not just for them low and slow cuts. So when people talk about smoking a brisket, they're low and slow cooking a brisket but they're adding smoke to it or they're using wood to get a nice smoke ring and flavor into it. But you can use it on different types of food and different styles of cooking. So just remember, don't go too heavy handed at the start. 
um, to find out if you try it for the first time and you over smoke your food chances are you're probably not going to like it if it's not something that you're used to tasting uh, and a lot of saddens me a little bit that people will try it that first time they'll use um, hickory because it's sort of one of the most common ones that people have heard of which is a really strong wood so um, it puts them off they think oh, I just smoke foods not for me try the lighter ones to start with so uh, apple or cherry Silver birch is nice, um, beech isn't too overpowering, it's sort of a nice middle of the road one, but uh, try those first, decide if you like them, maybe the smoke flavour wasn't strong enough for you, then you can step it up a little bit, but don't go right in at the deep end with some of the big hitters, because chances are you might not like them. Uh, to help you match up then your wood flavours with your food, um, certain woods go nicer with white meats, um, certain woods go better with red meat, certain woods go better with fish or game or so I have a little chart and uh, that you can download I've left the link for it in the description below and it will just give you some of the most common woods and what kinds of meat they go well with and then you can choose if you're doing a, a chicken dish you can pick uh, some of the ones that go best with chicken and try them out or you can blend those chicken uh, ones together to find a blend that su suits you well so that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful. If you haven't tried smoking on your barbecue yet, you're missing out because uh, smoke can be a really nice ingredient to use in your cooking. And whenever you learn what wood you like and what strength of smoke you like, it can really make a difference to a dish. So try it out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or get in touch with me via Twitter or Instagram. I'm happy to answer any, any questions. Um, Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, subscriptions in the channel is really growing, which is great. Uh, thanks for everybody that signed up so far. Glad to have you here each week. And until then, I'll see you in the next episode.